day You love never stay a day A battle's always coming my way Oh my God, look at this guy. Well, today's grim adventure brings us to Canton, Ohio, to a place known as Factory of Terror. This is our next behind the scenes video that we're doing today. And I'm telling you what, I've never seen anything like this place. It truly is a factory. Now, we've been traveling the country visiting some of the, the scariest, most interesting haunts there are, turning the lights on and showing how they choose to scare you. Anybody home? And hopefully you're ready because today we got a bit of a doozy. Now here's the thing about the Factory of Terror. It's actually built inside an old factory. Right now we're walking back through the storage area. There's monsters everywhere, including underneath the plastic. What's in the plastic, baby ghoul? It's beginning to look a lot like Krampus. Yeah. It's Krampus. You know, a lot of people have old cars in their garage. I have a feeling that if we had the space, this is how our garage would look like in our house. Just monsters and corpses, and right behind them, there's, there's a, a demon something on a motorcycle. Yeah, this is how our house would look. It is night, it is for Halloween, makes noise. But there is a tap at the window. Walking back through the machine shop. This is how I want our living room to look. <laughs> there it is. Good luck. <laughs> a little bit of foggy in here, but. So big. No, the fog adds to it. It does. There's a lot of the bodies and some animations. So there's like a little storage area. Get a closer look at some of these guys. I don't know what the little goat guys are, but I really want a pair of those for the house. Them? Isn't that interesting. <laughs> these fellows, these are these are my new pets. I can see that. Yeah. And then over here, we got a couple of different people just standing around. I don't know, the, the plastic just adds something extra special to me. I like it. It's supposed to be covered. Right? Oh. I love the arachnid faces. These are some of my favorite guys. Got a goat head right here. A severed foot on the same shelf. But if I turn the camera all the way over this way, there's even a few different caskets back here as well. It is night. It is for Halloween makes noise. But there is a tap at the window. No one there. Again at the other window. But no one is there either. Surprise, surprise. It is father with pumpkins, Indian corn, and straw. Everything we need for Halloween decorations. Julie wants to know what the straw is for. To cover the roses with and keep them warm during the winter. The whole family is getting... We ready. just discovered the secret to the squishy stairs and bridges that you see in haunts. It's real wood, but underneath it, they have styrofoam. I mean, look at this. That is so freaking cool. It's just, uh, the design is so simple, but I could never figure it out, like how to create that um, kind of experience. Mind is blown. It's always foam. Always foam. Always, everything is always foam. Wow. I think that these are some of my favorite type of contraptions because it looks like just a skeleton, tall skeleton, but it's actually a contraption. So this would sit on somebody's shoulders right here. Their head would be up here and they could puppet. 
this ginormous creature. Hey, welcome. Good morning. My name is John Eslich, and I'm here with the Factory of Terror Haunted House in Canton, Ohio. Um, today we have a pleasure going through with Grim Life. We're going to take a walk and show you some of the, I guess, some of the scenes, some of the behind the stuff things. Kind of give you an idea of what it takes to produce such a large attraction. So yeah, right. We're in what I call the world headquarters because we have multiple attractions. Uh, this is one of them. And back in, uh, I don't know, 2010 and 2011, and also the third one's missing, 2014, um, we applied with Guinness and broke the world record for the longest indoor haunted attraction. They call it uh, Whorehouse. Um, but we went back and forth with Cutting Edge out of Texas, um, but we have broke the record three times, and we're quite proud of that. And you know, we have a large attraction. This kind of shows a little bit of uh, the record nice. and kind of like validates that we're not just marketing that, it's actually right. real. I served as the president of the Haunted Attraction Association about four years, and also was a treasurer for like three years. So I was quite involved. So they gave me some uh, recognition finally when I, you know, turn, o turn the reins over to the next group of haunters and yeah. let them continue the tr tradition. And they're doing, a, they're doing a nice job, so I'm proud of them. This is kind of a knickknacks I collect over the years, and I'm in the demolition field. So I found this, this is a, a very unique uh, fuse. See, it's a liquid fuse. Yeah. I thought it was really cool looking. So I end up like with four of them. So there's other, I have one here I display. And when someone asks me about them, I, I tell them. So Dwayne from 13th Gate, he has one in his escape room lobby and with a couple other little things I gave him. And there's a couple, I gave one to 13th floor um, out in Colorado. Okay. He has one and Dent School House, I believe has one and Brett Hayes from Fear That's Fair. Cool. He, he's, he's a lucky recipient, but they're real special. So I, I find these little knickknacks sometimes and I, I spread it to my haunt friends. We all are in the same boat, so to say. We all have similar challenges. So. We, we, we talk, you know, see how things are happening and, and what we can do about it. So it, we get a lot of good information from, you know, my haunt friends and owners all over the, over the country. Um, and I share my ideas with them. And um, what's neat about it, every market's a little different. So if this market's not ready for a certain idea, eh, in a couple of years it will be. So some things that I do here might not fit someone else's market, but eventually it will. So it, it's just, uh, you know, the way that... We have a good sounding board. So if I have an idea, I could talk to someone that I know in a different state, and uh, they help me with it. Nice. So it's, it's great. So. so after you park and after you buy your tickets, you head right down this way to the entrance to the haunt. Now here's what's really cool about this place. It is extremely long. There's like five different shows inside this building. But there's also, it's also a bar crawl. So you can come here and get scared, or you can come here and drink, or you can come here and get scared and drink. And the bar crawls, the bars that they have, that the bars that they built, they're themed. We already caught a glimpse of some of them. We're gonna look at a few more here in just a little bit. We're waiting for this door to open. And then we're gonna go inside. So here we are. This is the first bar that we have at the factory. And it's a carnival bar. And you'll see we have a lot of clowns. We have a lot of fun striping on the walls, some banners, um, all the tables and chairs in here. So this is like uh, stop number one uh, as far as bar. Now this is open to everybody because we have soda, we have water, we have alcohol, whatever you want. So kids are welcome in here. We have some fun mirrors as they're kind of interesting. But the props in here are amazing. Uh, most of them are for Columbus, some are from uh, Seattle. And this is the theme bar we have here. And you can see the, the cooler, everything's is themed, uh, drink machine. But what's nice about this, now we're right inside the building. And when we're done for the night, we can shut this overhead door and everything's locked down and we can clean up and go home. As part of our like um, bar only customers, they get to do what they call a poker run. Okay. So at every location, they get to, this is, we're gonna burn this card. Right, they, get a, they get a card, okay? And every location has a different cards. They can't cheat as easily. But uh, there we get, they get five cards when they go all five stops. Okay. So like a typical poker run that people usually do with either motorcycles or boating or stuff like that. So we have a poker run right here on campus and the winner can win a lanyard like this, um, a nice wristband, or even a private lane or ax throwing. All right. So it's a lot of fun. And we are all gonna put some money in 
And Just we're all gonna... my dollar. So here's the other thing. If, now, we don't normally do this, but if you guys want to pick a wild card, Ooh. just for amongst us, we can agree on one of those. What do you want for wild? I always pick threes or wild. Threes. I was going to say three. Oh, there you okay. go. We'll do threes. All right. Threes or wild. So who wants to pick first? Go ahead. You guys are the guests. You go ahead, baby girl. All right. Good luck. Good luck. What you get? Probably a three. I'll get one. I got a queen. Oh, she got right. a three. I can tell by looking at her face, she got a three. <laughs> this is our Poison Ivy Greenhouse Bar. And if you're not interested in going to the bar, we have an amazing first attraction right over to the right. And that's the entrance to our first attraction. So we have, as you can see, very uh, greenhousey and pumpkin themed. All through here, we have big greenhouse monsters with oh, pumpkin wow. heads. And so they're great. And we have pumpkin spiders, and we have pumpkin guys <laughs> with axes, and we have all kinds of crazy pumpkins, and a lot of them light up. Um, but it's a very special little intimate greenhouse, and we'll, we'll go inside, because okay. we have the inside of the greenhouse, and we have a little garden center. So it's, um, a lot of the white lights are on right now, so it doesn't feel as intimate as normally. But, but you can overlook the first attraction, which is amazing, and very scenic. This creepy. is really cool. You want to go in for Lots the kill? Lots of creepiness. She was waiting, so before we move on, she's got to run. Okay, she can do it. <laughs> and a hug. And a hug. And a hug. I have, I have to hug the pumpkin. All right, well, let's go into Poison Ivy. And Grant, there's no live plants that'll get you Poison okay. Ivy. So we actually put a tile floor in. Oh, wow to make it a little more. Very Let me turn uh, some show lights on. We have everything very much uh, switch controlled. I tried to, but I'm Even without show you try lights to turn on, this, on? this is beautiful. I can get it on. Oh, you know why? No. If you run up to that corner office, oh, yeah, yeah. there's a couple light switches in there. Turn the one that says Poison Ivy on. Isn't that awesome? So Kevin from Gorgalore, that's one of his creations. It's amazing. And there's another one over there, but it's kind of hidden in the background is up there by the pumpkins. And that is awesome. Let me get a, a light on him, you know, but isn't he, isn't he special? Oh, wow. Yeah. So she's going to turn the switch on so we can see him, but, um, so she, oh, there we go. Oh gosh. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> I'll turn that down. This is really cool. It's it's a very special place. And it's, as you say, I can only describe it as immersive and intimate. And you come in here and it's a little light, it's brighter than it normally is right now. But um, it's a pretty special space. And you got the thunderstorm that happens. And you got mm -hmm. a little, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, here, here's my question. I mean, you get the people who come in for the haunts and most of the time when people walk through a haunt, they're like, oh, I'm too scared and they run. Some people can't wait to get out. How, how do you guys deal with people just wanting to linger in the bars? Well, we really can't control it a whole lot. I mean, we just hope they, we encourage them to go to the next one. The curiosity yeah. wants to keep them moving Or we're on. like, hey, you know, well, we encourage, like, okay. You, some people like are scared. Every haunt, they get scared to go in. So this gives them an opportunity to kind of rest, get familiar with the surroundings and adjust their, you know, I get their feelings. Liquid courage. Yeah, but, you know, but it's also being in the space. Yeah. Once you're in the space, then you kind of like, okay, you get adjust a little bit. And then we encourage, okay, follow the dots and go to the next space. You'll be safe. But if you want to be brave and go along, go ahead. You know, so. I think the other thing too is the, the design team did such a great job that they can't wait to see what's next. You know, you've gone to two totally different experiences. Carnival is loud and colorful, and then you come in here and it's sort of a little creepier, a little, like John said, a little more intimate. And, um, you know, your lights, and you, if you step out on the back, you can oversee the next haunt, and you see the house and the cemetery, and all sort of ties together. So I think they're ready to move on and see what we've done next. But now that we left the Poison Ivy Bar, let's go into the first haunt. <laughs> Look at this. 
Wow. Hmm. If I wasn't doing the YouTube game, I'd want to be a scenic painter for a haunted house. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, th yeah. This amazes me. It's very rewarding. You know, because you get to create something and then see customers react to it. So it's a lot of fun. So it's the first attraction, 1300. Oh. Oh, the smell. So I am a sucker for hallways and lines and hallways. They're my favorite. And even if there's no scare going on, so something like this, walk in this hallway, gets me. Like I got goosebumps. Mm, yep. Well, it all intensifies. And as you go through, it's suspense and all coming together. Now nothing's gonna jump out at us because their compressors are not on, but there is a little bit of audio playing, but not the normal, uh, a little dark. Baby, don't get too far ahead. You might get, I don't know, taken by something. <laughs> oh, did you guys sign the waiver? <laughs> I'm just kidding, we don't do a waiver. So it gets dark and creepy real fast. I like that there's a lot of room. Like you can actually walk through here, stretch your arms out, but it also gives scare actors enough room to come up on you from all kinds of different angles. You okay back here, Kim? Yeah, good. <clears throat> Which way do I go? Oh, this way. Whatever way you want. Uh... Whichever way you want, he says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You doing all right up there? Now, one of the things that I love about this tour is walking through these houses. I mean, the lights are on right now. Well, the show lights. You get white lights and show lights. It's kind of a combination. Okay. But we got no scare actors. Correct. And this just gives us enough time to just kind of see the artistry that goes into this. Are you going to go through? <laughs> there she goes. This is giving me kind of right. like a There's twilight zone. Just kind a great square. <laughs> so I watched it's you go great, in. <laughs> yeah, and, and it still scared me when right. it's the sound. This is another fun space we have, and one of my favorite static props is right up to your left with a goat face. That's probably my fav favorite static that we have. Uh, but it's a nice open scene. Um, it's changed its look over the years, and we continually change this scene around. Yeah. So. I am, I'm loving all the wide open space. Well, we, we try to do a, a areas that it's wide open, so you feel that big open space, and then you have the tight spaces as well. It's that mixture that you gotta have. You gotta have that mixture. Like we first started this show, it was pretty tight, and this is wide open, so I mean, you gotta do both. So where are we right now? This is uh, like the nurse's check-in station. Okay. And then we have a waiting room next to us. And then, um, actually, we're going to segue <laughs> into the best mirror maze in the country. I don't know if I like this waiting room. It's creepy. There's uh, a couple of things on the walls that are super creepy and cool. Like, he's one of them. I know and this. So, since we started doing this, I've discovered that I don't like people on walls. Oh, really? Yeah. I, How about people down low? Me out. Yeah, especially if they crawl. No. But like that guy up there kind of makes you nervous? Yeah, I don't like this people guy. walking up the walls. Oh, okay. He's got some stuff left over from our Christmas show. So we gotta get those <laughs> off. This is beautiful. <coughs> I kind of get a little bit of a 
of an uh, alien's vibe. Or Tetsuo. Tetsuo. This is this crazy Japanese movie that was like all these like wires and parts. And okay. Whoa. This horror film. He became a man, made of mechanical pieces, kind of infected him in some way. Yeah, and show, show lighting is a lot different. You know, this this is an animation here. He's he's great. He's, he's new, actually. You know, he'll shake at you, you know. He was this year, so. I think. Didn't you buy this year? Yeah. Oh, so. I noticed on the wall behind him, over there, you got some, uh, what do you call that, a breaker box? Yeah. So how much is in this area that was actually here and how much was brought in? Going, you know what, let's set dress. Okay, this. so most of this we got, I guess, on site and brought it here and just made stuff out of it. Okay. Most of this room, except for like this animation. But all this other wiring, these electrical panels and these breaker boxes, this is stuff we found here. And oh. then we just repurposed it or made it part of the haunt versus throwing it away. I love it. If it's attached to the wall, it was already here, probably. Yep. Yep, like all that stuff. This was already here. That was already here. All, all the stuff was. We added we added a controller there with some light effects. Yeah. But uh, nice thing about it, the stuff that was already here is already aged and dirty. We didn't have to like take this shiny metal and age it. It was already aged. So some of the things right here, like this press right in front of us, this, I didn't make this. This is original. Oh. This was in the building, and there's another one over here. So we call this press one, and the next one's press two. Very original. But, you know, these things are here, so we've, you know, put bloody heads and made some lights move, and these boxes tip, and this guy in the barrel, he gets mad at you, and he, he screams and rattles. So these are fun things that we can play off of existing props. And, again, that's something they made here. You know, that, that yeah, engine yeah. piece, they would stamp that out of there. We make this move up and down, like it's stamping out parts. And so it's just, um, it's a cool piece. Why spend the time and energy to rip it out when we can make it part of the theme? Right? I, I have much respect for you guys for doing that. So here's our next press, which is cool. And uh, yeah, this one's been beat up quite a bit, so. It's been pounded on for a number of years. Oh yeah, she also likes buttons. Who doesn't? Buttons, lights, pumpkins. You're in the right business then. Right. I mean. So here's our typical scare box too. A lot of haunters like this stuff, you know. So this is, I could be in this box, you know. And I got the hole I can see you. So I can come out to you and get you That's here. Awesome. Or I'm gonna come over here. I can get you when you come over here. And then when we looked at the other side, you know, this is. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is where I'm dropping out here. So this gives this actor a little, a little freedom to do a few things, yeah. you know. So and still kind of stay out of the way, right? So we're still in the industrial show. This is our pipe hallway, and we have air blasts come off in here. And when you take a left, it goes into a sewer scene, which diehard uh, like Transworld fans and haunters. They'll know this scene because it actually, I, I bought this at Transworld. They had like an auction up there. And uh, I bought I bought the, the scene at the trade show. Um, so it means a lot to like, we, when we talked earlier about having friends and haunters all across the country. Yeah. They will recognize this scene because they all saw this at Transworld during our trade show. So this is something that's kind of special in that regards that they can connect with when they come here. They're like, oh, I remember this in Transville like eight years ago. I'm like, yep, this is it. This is actual this water is, in here, right? Yeah, yeah, it flows water. Uh, so you gotta go across the water. The drums on either end spew out the water. Jessica found another monster that she wants to hug and give some love. They're so cute, I love these guys. The teeth are great. Oh, wow. So well balanced. I always thought these would be extremely heavy to maneuver. Go behind there and run it. You can slide it forward. Let's see her try this thing. Got the. This is your job interview. Yes. So easy. Push it forward. There you go. You have to growl now. Give you, it a growl. You have to make a noise. <laughs> we'll work on that. Hey, <laughs> you're right. Speaker scared. <laughs> Could get you a bigger voice. <laughs> Now you're straight up. When it, if you push it forward and you hit somebody, you went too far. Right. Bring it back. 
bring it back. My, no, you're perfect right there. Yeah, it gives an idea how massive. And we, we cut, I think, six feet out of this thing. No. Because we were going to put it in, uh, up in Akron, and it was too tall, so we cut six feet out of it, and then we just put it in here. But you see, it's almost hitting the ceiling here. So yeah, the thing is not. massive. I, I think instead of doing a Christmas tree, we need to do something like this in our house. There you go. All right, so Jessica's going into our third attraction called Lafayette, which is you know, inspired by New Orleans. So you'll see a lot of cemetery type of stuff in this show. Uh, we also have a little bit of a black maze to reset your vision. Then we have the old New Orleans shanty type of stuff or shacks. Um, this is basically the queue line. If you look down through, where she's headed down the queue line. She's actually going backwards. That's okay. <laughs> she's never been here before. Uh, but we have some cool props and some cool scenic stuff, you know, in the queue line. And the first part of these are the, the crypts and things. Now, we just skipped a bunch of them, but you'll get the idea. Our favorite parts are the crypts. Yes. Especially in New Orleans, if you ever go. If you're watching this and you've never been in New Orleans and you go, you have to take a day or two to just walk through the cemeteries. The cemeteries are incredible. Then kind of at, towards the end of our crypts, we have like an area that we build caskets. They're building now, it sounds like. Sounds like they're building caskets right now. <laughs> so can't get through there, have to go around. There's a witch. Hello, witch. Quick turns. It's a little bit tighter in here. I like it. So here's our casket building area. So grab a tool there and go to work. See, baby girl, you can make your own casket. <laughs> well, if you hang around me very long, I will put you to work because <laughs> people will stop in to see me and. You know, I'll be like, oh, grab that. Okay, well, grab that screw gun. Just go put that together. And when you're done with that, grab the brooms. So I will put you to work. I'd be okay with that. Are you lost already? I know I'm lost. Oops, sorry. No, you're good. The sets are amazing. Oh, the nod. Yeah, she's good. Yeah. And this church scene is a lot of fun. Oh, wow. Of course, the church steeple has fallen over. This is, I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, you want people to be scared when they come in. I'm the type of person that walks into a place and goes, ooh, ah, like a kid right. watching fireworks. The, the set work. Yeah. yeah. The big monster that drops out of that. Oh, he's actually wearing a Factory of Terror shirt. Oh, absolutely. Come on now. Oh, wow. So, so a good friend of mine from Florida, Joe Phillips, he built this set for me. Oh, it fell into the church, no, the steeple. Yeah, it fell, and he built all this, so we'll have to send him a video of this so he, uh, to see how it looks. My favorite is religious horror. So oh, this yeah? is kind of special for me. I'm like, yeah, a little terrifying. <laughs> what do you see? It's, it's a little bright in here, but you know. So you're going into some more raised type of cemetery type of stuff. Um, like, and kind of what happened. Thing is bats. Yeah, those are cool. So cool. But you see how we have all these raised tombstones and things? And then when you exited right here, you went into a claustrophobia hallways um, to kind of, you know, take this effect over. But we've gotten rid of them since COVID back in 2020, so. Look at the face. It's a face lantern. Man. Did we get random heads and bodies pretty much everywhere? You really have to look for them because there's so much, you, you miss a lot of them. It's like bloody guts everywhere. I have a nice little crawl scene coming on. You got your knee pads ready? Took the toes. So on a slower night, we can ask our guests to go that way. Oh, crawl down through? Yeah. So You going for it, baby? 
I'm not sure if they use it this year, but why don't you do it and tell me what it looks like? Because <laughs> I haven't been in, and then they will come out here, so they'll shut this. They'll come out to the outhouse. Jessica's going in. Brave soul. Right? She is the adventurer. I heard there's a raccoon that hides out in here somewhere. Oh, there you are. Hi. See, she's in the commode. <laughs> Could have put a can on top of the commode. <laughs> oh, that's neat. That's neat. Good job. That's fun. And also a bridge. And this, I tore this floor out and I built a pit, a three foot deep pit. So there's water in it right now. So eventually this is gonna get rethemed a nice big water feature. Nice. So we've prepared, repaired it. It's just, um, you know. But someone could grab you from below and you wouldn't expect it. Oh man. <laughs> Sorry, there's water. In the, so there's somebody over here in the corner that's wearing some uh, yeah. galoshes and, and do you have people down in the water? Oh yeah, I oh, get you. Of course you do, oh, no. of course you do. So this is the exit of Lafayette and we exit right into Bourbon Street. So what we did is replicated a lot of things that you'll find on Bourbon Street. This is in particular Lafitte's, which their claim to fame is the oldest bar in the country. So we have a replica of that. And you can see over there, we have another replica of the Reverend Zombies. And, yeah. and all these facades are um, inspired to New Orleans. So if you look around these market lights, and these canopies with the awnings here, that's very prevalent down in New Orleans. And then also see how we have that 306 address where it's set back. Yeah. That, you'll see that a lot in the streets of New Orleans because they have the little setback entrances. Down at the end is Preservation Hall, which is a very famous place in New Orleans. Yeah. So that's Pre Preservation Hall. And by the way, all the addresses actually are real addresses down in New Orleans. So that's Preservation Hall. And if you see the sign, so it's 726, that's your actual address. And their sign out front is musical cases, you know? So we, we did the same thing here. Again, you have the balconies. And then this one we created, I had a haunted attraction one time, one time called Forsaken Haunted House up in Northeast Ohio. And it was called Forsaken. So okay. I called this facade Forsaken. So this is Forsaken Bar on Bourbon. So this facade is a working facade. You can go in there. This is bar number three. We can get a water, soda, Dippin' Dots, or some haunted hurricanes. Remember, you get on yep. New Orleans, you get, yep. uh, was it Pat O'Brien's hurricane? Uh huh. So we didn't want to copy that exactly, but we have a haunted hurricane. Uh, Kim, she created that and it's amazing. Um, so you go in here and you have a haunted hurricane and you can have some festive shots and just kind of unwind, regroup with your, your people you're with, kind of regroup, laugh, talk about your experience, and then catch your breath, and then you have two more shows. Um, and what's kind of cool is I, I, I give you some history, some things about the, the different uh, buildings. I think like that one will talk about uh, the Preservation Hall. So they I have these plaques that kind of talk about New Orleans and, and you know, how they did things and just a little history about them. It's just kind of fun. So for the people who do decide to stop here and to get drinks, the haunted hurricanes, are there scare mm -hmm. actors or are there people dressed in costume here to help entertain? Uh, so, you know, most haunts, there's nothing, nothing unique, have, you know, roamers right. that roam the common space of your attractions. This is kind of a common area. So they will float in and out of the space. Um, they're not to be overly intensive in here, but they're more fun and theatrical. Uh, and you know, they have to read their customers. Um, this is done so well down. that I want to go to New Orleans. Yeah, Jessica oh yeah. And I love going to New Orleans. And this, I feel like we're there. Well, it is kind of uh, interesting because we have people that just, they've showed up here before, but like, I just got back to New Orleans. They're like, this looks just like it. And it's, it's fun, and it's right here in Ohio, so people can come here and, and just feel, you know, wh one thing we do about attractions and we do with haunts and any other type of attractions, you, you bring people into a different world and just to be someplace different. Right. And they forget, you know, they're right here in Canton, Ohio. They forget that because they, we've taken them through all these spaces 
and they forget. It's like in Las Vegas. You, you get absorbed in a space. You forget it's daylight outside. You forget where you're at. Elvis is in the house. Someone um, swiped his Elvis glasses last week. Oh, so no. we're not, not too happy about that. Um, but you know, now, Elvis you, will live on. You have somebody else sitting over here on the corner. Oh yeah. Who is this? <laughs> Hey, turn her around here. I don't know. She's kind of waiting for a date. <laughs> oh, someone put something on her nose. Oh, gum on her nose. Nice, nice. Oh, someone's tipping her too. That's like that's true a, New Orleans. Right. Right. You walk down uh, through Bourbon Street. You're leaving with something. Right. So we we actually pass out a lot of beads. <laughs> okay. So true to New Orleans, we have ten thousand. I think we have ten or fifteen thousand beads. So we pass those out nightly, just to. Get the vibe going. Yeah. But this is one of the props I got from one of the vendors, and I didn't know where to put her, and I didn't want it to like disappear with all the other clutter, so to say. So I was like, you know, I said it was bar stool, and it's been here for three years. So I, I think it's perfect. So she hangs out here at the bar, and um, she's had better days, but you know, she's, waiting on you to buy her she's still here. Um, so now we're at the beginning of the four show, which we made a lot of changes. So if you look at the mural here, the Factory of Terror mural, okay. that was painted actually in 08. Um, so it's, it's been a staple of the place. So what we did though, if you look up here, we have a projector. I'm gonna turn this on. So we had a, a crew in here, we mapped it, video mapped it. And so we basically will bring this show alive, or that sign alive. And I'm gonna, we'll show it to you here. All right. I'll turn this on, it's gonna, it's gonna warm up for a second. Okay, it'll probably take maybe a minute. But what it does is kind of animates that factory of terror. And then- That's cool. Oh, it, it's so awesome. And then this facade's all brand new too. And these characters on the porch, they're from a company called Live Formations. So they're super realistic. So we're gonna play a few things for you on that. All right. That are spectacular. So go ahead and turn the light, overhead lights off. It's about to get dark. It's gonna get dark. Ooh, you know what, that light is, on from way up when we started this tour. I can tour. still see this. Okay, you can kind of see it. Um, so once the, yeah, the projector's running, it, it's still doing its warm up procedures here. Um, yeah, it says, says Panasonic. <laughs> um, it's going, oh, there you go, now it's starting. Okay. Okay. So now you can kind of see what's happening. What? Don't see it, hey! You know what you just going and doing? Did you hit the start? Yeah, you know there ain't nothing I can do about that. that. You know that this thing is haunted by the ghost of my life. You said, find haunted house offers in your factory of terror season pass. You can come back to visit as many times. Well, that may be true, but I'll meet me some new friends, and I reckon we'll go without you. singing songs right now. See how it moves up there? Um, it's, a, it's a great little scare. That's your opening room into the show. We're show four. Um, we'll hit a few scenes. All right, all right. Go ahead, baby ghoul. You go first. Alright, that got me. <laughs> 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 
There's cats in here? That's your favorite. Oh, brother. Oh, there's more. Somewhere here. They're I everywhere. <laughs> They've taken over the place. Oh. Shop here. <laughs> this is on. He comes all the way out. I was surprised at how far. Uh, go back over there. there so go. let's look at this again. Oh yeah, he comes. He comes all. He, he'll hit. Yeah. Yeah. Better pay attention. I'll knock you out. <laughs> and there he goes. This is our new uh, resident here. Um, I think he's about 450 pounds. He just hangs here. He lives in his favorite room. He stays here all the time. Now, does he have a name yet? No, I need to give him a name. <laughs> Maybe Michael. Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? And I can tattoo, I can, put, I can tattoo Michael on his, uh, he got tattoos over here. Did you see that? Give him a little, oh, he does. Look at that. Maybe I can see, um, my name is Michael and I love Grim Life. <laughs> I, we'll put that on there. How's that there sound? There you go. Give him a Grim Life Collective tattoo. There There's we like go. a little hidden yeah. Easter egg. Well, to do that, at least we get a mark. How complicated, we'll, we'll put a marker on there. Yeah, so, um, Michael here is pretty in interesting. There you go. Thank you. And oh, there's somebody behind him too. Yeah. The, uh, this is my room, thanks. We'll sneak down here to the end. Now we're in the back hallway here. Truly behind the scenes. So what are the numbers on the doors? Just to help direction, that's okay. all. Meet me at door four. Makes sense, there you go. Where's door four? I don't know, go down the hallway until you find door number, with marker number four. So we're gonna go into like the cemetery scene. Okay. Um, you ready? Oh uh, yeah. Once the door swings this way. Oh. It's storming in here. Again, the white lights are still on. Which is fine. Because, you know, you, you get people get to see the art of the place, but they don't get to yeah. see what scares them, really. Go ahead. What made you go this way? I don't know. Oh, wow. is this? It's like a hillbilly shack. 
And these, those guys are great. I gotta go first. Or we're switching on and off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so in our cemetery. You are not kidding. I mean, look at this. giant batter over there in the corner. Oh, ho, ho. oh no, look out behind you. We've seen a lot of cemeteries, but uh -huh. none that look like this. This, oh, is, really? this is cool. This is good. Kind of forget you're indoors. Right? So, so then you head to cemetery and then we're gonna walk back in the building. <laughs> so now that you've come out of Massacre on Mahoney, which is our, our show for, this whole entire show here is completely brand new. So in February, we tore everything down and went with a new theme. As you can see, it's called the Abyss. So a little freaky, a little underwater. We had this mural done by a local artist here. So again, we use the projection mapping to make sure it's animated. You can see with some of the little underwater creatures. So it really gets you in that vibe, like you're gonna go into the unknown. We absolutely love these things. Well, sometimes. <laughs> But mainly because Jessica's hair is glowing. I suppose the lighting and the black maze kills the experience. Yeah. But you know, you'll see it.
when you guys come through here, it's pitch black. So now we're going to start our transition into some pirate stuff. Yeah, so this. You'll start seeing some things as we get through these other spaces. Now there's the also a pirate-themed bar, correct? Yes, we're, we're not there jets. yet, though. So there's our pirate ship on the left, and we have a, a mermaid cannery on your right. Now you're on the dock. And we get to the end here, we see the mermaid. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> we got some dead ones. Aww. We got some more fresher ones over there. And then we're going to uh, go into the boat and see what's happening. Hey, welcome to our shack area. We guests can up here and have a drink or have some food. We have a food truck out back. But take a look around. We have all these interesting shacks. And this is a very relevant one. We have a back of a boat there that's marked Amber's Pledge. So if you remember back at um, the Johnny Depp lawsuit, so we named it after <laughs> Amber. So that that's a lot of fun. Both people awesome. pick up on that. And this is this Cthulhu is, is incredible. So I can talk to him. So. Wow. Quite impressive. I want him in our house. Baby, go uh, yeah. We need him. We found two room. pieces that you want. Yes, yes. But he's he's great. But then if you look over here to the right, we have like a little Asian type of space. And you can sit. Of course, we have whiskey barrels all over the place because we're about to go to the pirates area. Oh, so we have wow. a broken out pirate ship. This, this, this ship here has got shipwrecked. <laughs> And uh, you go in there and get ship faced. <laughs> and we have a we have a drink called ship faced, and we have a shirt that says "I got ship faced at uh, Captain Jack's Pirate Bar." Man, that's so cool. So this is where you go to get ship faced, and it's a very special, intimate pirate boat. You come Look on in, this. come into the space, and right now the bar is clean. We don't have anything set up on it, but um, what a spectacular bar top and just a whole set. Oh, you're just you catch the oh let's go down. Oh. The portal, the go. Let's go check out the dolphins. So now you're in the space. Of course, you look out and see the ocean. Oh, and man. there's some dolphins. How fun is that? That's cool. And if you're not careful, there'll be some pirate ships trying to hunt us down and will shoot at us. And the really neat thing is as the seas get angry, this whole environment starts to storm and get angry as with it. Really? So, yeah. So, um, let me say this, Jessica and I do not drink, but this place makes me want to start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have Gatorade, you can have a you know, shot of Gatorade. We can do that, that's, yeah. That's fine. It, you know what, it's a fun place to be in, and then as you get down to the other end, you'll see, uh, we have video cameras throughout, so there's one scene where the shark was trying to bite us on the way out. You can sit here and watch that happen, so if you kind of go down this way, there's a screen up there on the wall. So we should see. All right, Jessica. turn, come back around. Oh, there she is. is. <laughs> you see the shark get her? That's amazing. You're supposed to act scared for the camera. <laughs> so we got to make it realistic. So if you're stuck in a crashed boat and it's raining outside, well, you know what? You see the thunder and lightning inside. That's cool. No 
like the ghost pirate at the end. Yeah. She is ship faced. That's the problem. <laughs> You're a great captain, baby goal. Yeah, but we're all going to die before I can't see over the ship's wheel. Yeah. Well, maybe it's a Dwight wheel where it actually doesn't steer anything. And with that being said, from Factory of Terror in Canton, Ohio, one of the scariest haunts in the United States, which is what brought us here for a little behind the scenes tour, as well as a part show. No scare actors. The Scare's air was on in certain areas. The air was on in certain areas. You got scared. I, I saw did. it. I got scared <laughs> too. And I had a blast. There's a finger here. There's, there's, right now we're in the warehouse, probably one of my favorite places here because this is where they make the magic. They, mm -hmm. they fix the, the ghouls, the, the monsters. This is a storage area. They make scenery. The, right? And we got to roam around it and have some fun. This place is amazing. What did you think? I have so much to say. We already said it is the longest indoor haunt in America. And it, it, it's won some Guinness Book of World Records Three. in the past. Yeah. I could spend all day here. I could spend all weekend here because you will not have these experiences in any other location in the United States. They're do doing something extremely new and I'm in love with it. We've been visiting some of the top haunts, haunts in the country and everybody keeps asking us, which one's the best? Which one is gonna scare you the most? They all are unique and they are all great. It depends on your fears. Right, it depends on your fears. But here's the thing, none of them are doing what they do here at Factory of Terror. No. This was unbelievable. I definitely wanna come back and, and I said it in the bar and I stand behind it. We don't drink, we used to drink. Eh, we don't drink anymore, eh. but. No judgments. I would come here and have a drink in each of the bars. I want to go and to New ship Orleans, faced. right? Ship <laughs> face. They have a T-shirt. I want to go to New Orleans. That's how it good this place was. It made me want to go. Was. Yeah, it it felt authentic. The the scening is just done perfection. Um, I I will talk your face off. I will ship face your face, um, because I, I I can't stop just gushing over what I've gotten to experience here. And I'm so very thankful and I cannot wait to come back and do it full show. Do you have a bone to pick with me? I got a bone to pick with you. I was trying to pick this up the entire time. <laughs> if you do find yourself in the Ohio area here near Canton or want to take a road trip, this is the place to do it. Come and get scared, have a good Halloween with your family or friends. And uh, as always, from the Grim Life Collective and the folks here at Factory of Terror. Come get ship faced. <laughs> I love that too. I love that saying. Happy Halloween. Rawr. I can't stop saying ship faced. Ship, like sailing on a ship. Faced. They even have t-shirts that say that. I got ship faced. <laughs> That's your new saying. It's so fun to say. Wherever I come, I'm in love. It's gone my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that in state? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always.